everybody here on YouTube and welcome. We are doing another chaos draft. Hooray! Um, they've been kind of wild, but we actually ended up with like a pretty synergistic deck yesterday somehow, despite the fact that they're all, you know, packs from all over the place. The name of the movie got automated. Ark got through the filter. What did Ark say? Let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, that's gonna get automated for sure. Also, hey, Ark, how are you? Hey, Josh, welcome on in. How are you? All right, what are you taking here, everybody? Um, this is a master set, it seems like, from what I'm seeing. The near-death experience. It's at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have exactly one life, you win the game. What? That is... I don't even know how you'd ever do that, but... <laughs> that's really, really weird. Oh, is this Rise? I don't really know what to take. I know Seagate Oracle can't be that bad. I don't know how good any of the, like, uncommons are. But Seagate Oracle is just good enough to playing cube, so it has to be good enough. Why Rise of the Eldrazi? It's a chaos draft, Guibo. It's just completely random. So this is another, this is like 10th edition, or like M10 or 10th edition or something. They're just going to be all random. Uh, peak. Cruel Edict. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. It's just two mana sack. I think like Edict looks not bad. Creeping Mold is four mana. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. That doesn't look good enough. Rexing Vault, three mana. Tap and sack a creature, draw a card. Yeah, this edict looks... I mean, this is just diabolic edict, right? It's just... Seems good enough. Um, Frantic Search can... Oh my god, you guys. I have never... I love the art of this card so much. It's so cute. It's so huge too. Look, it's just totally strangling that little lizard at the bottom. But isn't this the cutest crab you've ever seen? I love the art. I actually own it in paper. I saw it in someone's trade binder and I'm like, I need this card. And they're like, it's okay, it's a common. I'll just, you can have it. They're like, it's an uncommon. You can just have it. I was like, thank you. Yeah, isn't the ability like pretty stupid? I kind of want to take it anyway. It's a four five. That's not too small. Though Frantic Search is not bad. And Rancor is really good. I think it's not only, I don't think it can pass up the opportunity to play with this crab. Rancor and Limited is very good. I feel like we'll just play against some green deck sometimes and we'll be able to put the creature on top of his library and the ability is just, just feels like such bullshit, so. <laughs> so that isn't bad either, but I like the crab. Yeah, I'm super partial to the crab. I really, I really wanted it. Ooh, Savage Punch, huh? This card was not bad. Target tree control fights target tree. Don't control. And target tree control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn before it fights. If you control a creature with power four or greater. That's harder to trigger, but I do like me a nice a nice bear punch in the face. <sighs> abomination or savage punch. What is the abomination? Oh, this thing. I never like this guy too much. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card if you discard a card. It's a 3-4 flyer, but it morphs for so expensive. Kind of want to just take savage punch, and if we don't end up playing our diabolic edict, it's fine. Right. And before no green opponents, Rototo, I'm going to be so crushed if we don't play green opponents. All I want to do is them to play that. Plays like a huge creature, and then they go king crab tab. Put your creature on top. You can never win. Taste, taste it. Why are you against drafting blue green? That can't be too bad. Yeah, the punch and the crab side by side. Just snip him, snip him good. It has no removal. Well, we literally just picked up a savage punch. Ah, uh, yeah, I do like the bow at bazaar barge. This card's not bad. This is a four mana five five cruise for three, which is expensive to crew to be fair but then um it's a five five and also you get to draw a card when it dtvs so yeah also it's colorless which helps okay i like where we're going so far we don't know where we're going yet yeah but the green only got removal post innistrad oh really interesting well we'll see we're not even sure which colors we're going to be yet. We're definitely not married to any color. Like, the most cards that we have that we want to play are blue. Shared Fate is 5 minutes. If a player would draw a card, that player exiles the top card of his opponent's library is face down instead. Each player may look up and play the exiled with... Wow, that card's super weird. I don't really want that. Fabricate is 3 mana. So chill for an artifact card. Reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your library. That... Is interesting, but I don't think is what I want. New Rock Familiar is 2 mana 1-1 one, one, when it ETVs or the top card of your library. If it's an artifact card, put it into your hand, otherwise put it into your graveyard. This sounds not too shabby. I kind of am interested in that New Rock Familiar. Because we have the Boom at Bazaar Barge and we pick up a couple more artifacts. It's just a 2 mana 1-1 one, one tutor for something else. 
I, I think that's... Oh, yeah, you got, these cards are pretty bad. They were not good, let me tell you that. Uh, these all look pretty bad. Wh why isn't Snitches forming a 1-3? Flying players with the top play with the top card of their libraries revealed. Yeah, I don't think I want that. Dizzy Spell is 1. Creature gets minus 3, minus 1 until turn transmutes for 3. That seems pretty awful. Uh, induce Paranoia, 4 mana counter target spell. If black was spent to induce Paranoia, the spells controller put the top X card of the library into the graveyard where X is the spell's converted mana cost. Paranoia seems not great, but uh, I don't know. It's like not terrible. <laughs> what does Mortipede do? 4 mana, 4 1. All creatures able to block Mortipede this turn do so. I think I'm just taking Paranoia. Yo, Sunset! Uh, Camps Perilla, welcome on in. Thank you so much for joining us today. You are officially a Snickerino. Enjoy your emotes. Why was original Ravnica so bad? A lot of people say that. They're like, secretly original Ravnica was terrible. <laughs> Cabal Trainee. Sac sacrifice Cabal Trainee. Target she gets minus two minutes to the end of turn. That doesn't seem very good. Counter target spell cast from a graveyard. Cast from a graveyard. Yeah, we're not taking that. Grip of Amnesia. Counter target spell on this controller exiles all cards from their graveyard. Yep, that seems like a pretty bad counter spell. Dude, I'm so excited about King Crab, dude. Yes, King Crab is also delicious. <laughs> it is delicious and a great magic card. Exile X target cards from a single graveyard. None of these cards are remotely playable. Destroy target. And... Okay, this is it. This is what we're taking. Enters the battlefield. You may put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. It's two mana, two one. Bam, no text. <laughs> We've seen some packs with a lot of graveyard hate for no reason. Return target permanent to its owner's hands for just three mana. It's permanent, I guess, but it's like so much more expensive than summon. As an additional cost to cast a spell, reveal a creature from your hand, you gain life equal to the reveal's converted mana cost. No, thank you. These cards are so bad. I guess we're taking a regress. Uh, Lena where Sentinel is 3 mana, 2, 3. When it ETBs, you may pay 2 more, so it has Kicker. If you do search your library for a card named Lana where Sentinel and put the card into the battlefield and shuffle your library. So you can get another one, but we're not going to get another one. <laughs> Yo, Hangry, how are you? It's good to see you. I think we'll just take Peek. Peak seems fine. It's just. Oh, thank you so much, Sunset. I appreciate the, the bitties. And welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Friday. Friday. Weather Seed Elf. Target against Forest Walk until end of turn. That seems not great. Plague Beetle. One mana, one, one Swamp Walk. But these creatures are unplayable. Every single one that we've seen. They're so bad. <laughs> one white mana, untapped target perfect, permanent. Cool. Taking this one, we're not playing it, that's for sure. Target creature gets plus three plus three and has trample until on the turn. Alright, we're taking this bad combat trick. I guess we're partying because it's Friday. Time to get down. Clockwork Beetle enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. Whenever Clockwork Beetle attacks or blocks, removes a plus one plus one counter at the end of combat. That's so bad. These are so bad! You think this is a good start? I really feel like we got some oh, heinously unplayable cards, Louise. <laughs> they seemed very bad. Yeah, so Pillar Pillar of Pillars, I think we have outs to have a good deck. AK, we could take Avengers on the card here and call it a day, for example. <laughs> got there, fam. I think this card's probably just so busted and limited. I This card is like busted in cube. It's gotta be so good in this. Freaking Poggers, man. Poggers, Poggers. Avenger plus crab. Oh my god. Play Avengers in the cart, get a million plants, put it back on top of our deck, draw it, replay it, pump the plants. Pow, you take 20, you're dead. It is with that attitude, Molly. You can put that, you can do it on curve, you realize? You can go curve King Crab into Avenger, into bounce the Avenger. Yeah, you need a Molly Molly. What is Cobra Trap? Uh, six mana of a non-creature permanent under your control was destroyed this turn by a spell or ability an opponent control. You may pay green rather than play the spell's cost. Create four green snake creature tokens? Oh my god, this is rubbing it in the fact that I got that question wrong in... <laughs> in the stupid game show! That's true. We didn't draft King Crab to not go off. I think we went Cobra Trap. It seems not too, not too shabby. I should take it, right? Also, look at look at it from this perspective, chat. If we take Cobra Trap, every time that they kill a creature and we get to do this, we get all the, like, you activated my trap card! 
FD Territory, thank you so much for that raid. How are you? It's so good to see you. Hope you had a lovely stream. I appreciate you bringing your community here with me. Welcome on in. Thank you. Welcome on in. How are you? All right. Oh, it's non creature permanent still. It still seems like it's not too shabby. They don't have death touch. True. Uh, ooh, Sift is quite good. I have rampant. Oh, I have rampant growth too. Interesting. I kind of want Sift. I don't have that many fours, and I think that card's just very good. Also, I'm playing King Crab, Cobra Trap, and Avengers in the card. Like, I'm gonna want card draw. Because currently I have Neurok Familiar. Cruel Edict is kind of not happening, though. I guess we could splash Sultai with Rampant Growth. That's more. No, actually, I changed my mind. I think it's Rampant Growth. Oh, weird. Look at the gold border they get when you hover. Do you see that? They get this gold border when you. Oh. Yeah, look, they get this gold border when you hover over them. All right. I'll grant. Uh, Rampant Growth is also a combo with Avengers, so yeah, I'll go with Rampant Growth. This. Yeah, it's not Glintless Crane, it's shitty Glintless Crane. <laughs> um. The beginning of your upkeep, put a spore counter on Thala, remove three spore counter, you make a green stop rolling token. Okay, echoing. Target creature and all other creatures are the same name as that creature, get plus two plus two until the turn. Well, that's kind of nice with the plants, but once we've already resolved Avenger, I think we're winning. No, I'm not planning on splashing it, Louise. I, I was just, this was my second pick, and then we didn't get any cards that worked with it, so. Yeah, Echo Encourage with Snakes, too. Oh, actually, Echo Encourage is not bad. Yeah, I'd, I forgot it combos with the Snakes if we ever, if we ever activate our trap card. Um... This is RTR. Golgari Kirun is kind of nice because it is mana ramp. Uh, I don't think we're into the Axe Bane Guardian life because this is not a defender. I don't think we have any defenders, in fact. Um, I guess it still taps. It comes itself, right? Add X man in any combination of colors where X is the number of creatures with defender you control. Yeah. I mean, it's like a three mana... It's a three-mana dork, right? I guess if we have Avenger, it's fine. We also have the King Crab. Because I feel like between these two, these two bad boys are going to take the game. Are going to be the ones winning us game, so. It's an artifact. Too. Oh, actually, timeout. Golgari Kirun is interesting. But we can never activate it is the problem. Yeah, it's also fixing. All right. I'm going to take Golgari Kirun and not Axe Bane. I'm going to do that because we have the Neurok Familiar. I don't know that we're playing Neurok Familiar. But I, if we do play it, I would like to have a couple hits. That's true. We could play a single Swamp with Rampant Growth. Maybe then we have more of a reason to splash a black card, even though we still don't have one right now. Uh, all these cards are pretty awful. And what do you do? Seven mana, five, five? Pfft, just giant growth, I guess. Enlarge is awful. This card's a sorcery. I'll just take giant growth. It's, it's a fine trick. Oh man, Agony Warp? That would have been nice back in... No, Enlarge is very bad. I remember that card being pretty mediocre in the set. And I know we're not playing that set specifically, but it, it was just... It just... Sorcery... It's different. Like, Prodigious Growth is busted, I think. Oh, I guess if we are... Have taken the Golgari Q rune and we have the Rampant Growth for a Black Source, we could just take Agony Warp. Oh man, yeah, we could have... Didn't rove a horror here. <laughs> Yeah, this card I think is worth splashing. As opposed to this thing. I like our deck. Now our deck is coming together. I don't think Induced Paranoia is happening. I will say that it's the Golgari Kirin is nice for Induced Paranoia as well. Circular Logic just so just shitty counter spell. What does Carrion Rats do? When Carrion Rats enters, a attacks or blocks a player may exile card from his or graveyard. If that player does, Rats assigns no combo damage this turn. Oh, it's a woman at 2 1. That's funny. Uh, you said we have you on MTG Top 5 again this week. Oh, that's awesome, Living Cards. Can I get a link to that? Invigorating Falls. You gain life equal to number of creature cards in the graveyards. Crows and Constrictors, 4 mana, 2. Swamp, target creature gets minus 2 minus all until end of turn. These are all pretty bad. Putrid Imp. I think I'll just take Circular Logic. I don't know. They, they all seem like pretty mediocre, so I'm not excited to take any of them. This unfortunately is not a Swamp. Otherwise, I would have played this as my Swamp. Uh... 
Calcite Snapper is three mana shroud one four landfall whenever land enters the battlefield. Under your control, you may switch its power and toughness until end of turn. Does this combo with anything? It has shroud. It can't be targeted, but it just trades with anything small. It doesn't even work with our Savage Punch. I think I'll take it, but I'm not super excited to. I'm not eager to put this in my deck. I don't think we're gonna. Spider Silk Knight is okay. It's better than Kraken Hatchling, I think. Yo, Jamie, how are you? Welcome on in. Jamie, it's Friday. Ooh, look at this. Squirrel did in big time. He's bully. How you like me now? Welcome on in, everybody coming in from Squirrel Stream. I hope Squirrel had an awesome stream. Squirrel, were you testing for the moderns? Uh, what are we? We're not playing. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to take Raging Goblin just because I think this card's awesome. <laughs> Even though we're never playing it. Testing is a stretch. What were you doing? Uh, Festering Goblin? No, actually, Spell Snare's okay. Yeah, I'm not playing this. Stress testing, maybe? Not reading prompts, mostly? <laughs> Put some magic mixed in? Yo, Pernicious, I'm so excited about King Crab. This card's so cool. Also, yeah, I'm probably not playing Spell Snare with my guess. I think of all the... Ooh, Slotto games? Uh, we would like to not play this Nantuko Tracer if we can help it. Um, I think currently I might not be playing this new this Auroch Familiar or Neuroch Familiar. I think everything else is looking playable at least. So yeah, we need like five playables from this pack or something. Gabby, I went turn two, lead the Stampede, hit five elves, and didn't remember that I had to click on all five. No! Don't! Oh my gosh, that is a that is a gooby kind of punt if I've ever seen one. Are you for reals? <laughs> Lucky your internet shut down at the time. Hmm. Oh wow, look at this. This card's cool. It's a 4 mana 3 3 with a very cool ability. When Slither Muse leaves the battlefield, choose an opponent. If the player has more cards in hand than you, draw cards equal to the difference. I like that. That's a pretty cool card. You said Spide Bellow Splash. Uh, what does Spice Bellows do? Deal 6 damage. But the problem with splashing this is... Or I'm already splashing and this is double red to splash. Um, what's our last card? Stony Book Schoolmaster. Uh, Heritage Druid is interesting, but we don't have enough elves. I think I'm just taking this card. I think this card looks like... A lot of times it's just gonna draw us a couple cards. And if not, it's just a 4 mana 3 3, which is not the worst thing you've ever seen. You played it in Legacy? Feldegriff, what kind of deck does this go in? Lol, life with a one year resub! Live, thank you so much for supporting the stream for whole 12 months. That's a really long time. Technically, the 12 month resub is actually 11 months. Mm. The more you know. <laughs> I really appreciate it though. How are you doing today? Also, Friday. Why is the swamp black border and everything else is a white border? You suggest a Gorilla Chieftain or Gravedigger? Uh, where's Gorilla Chieftain? 4 mana 3 3 regenerated. That's a really good card. I think Gravedigger's awesome, but I, and I would take it, but I think this is just really good. And I already don't have don't want to have to put like I'll have three black sources between this, the rampant girls and a swamp. So I don't think I want to add like that much more. Yeah. <laughs> Grave Dora Common, yeah, that card's really good. Uh, Revive, no. Spike Bailoff, no, that card's bad. Crippling Blight, and Chain Creature gets plus, minus one, minus one, and can't block. That also seems bad. Oh, when I started playing Magic, I used to love this card. I used to jam Tricks of the Trade on anything. But that's back when auras were, like, very exciting to me as a Magic player. <laughs> you played it in combo deck that usually you can combo off on turn one, so you can get seven cards. Oh, that's kind of neat. That In that deck, it makes more sense. Squirrel! Took three years to get out to me out here. Yo, yo, squirrel, hold on. This is also a. Thank you so much, squirrel. That's three years. That's so long. My gosh. Um, I'm not taking any of these cards. I guess I'll just take our Ko Mancer, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like we're gonna play it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being part of this community and being a great mod, and sometimes being. A trolley mod. And finally getting me to play FTL, I guess. <laughs> you got there. It only took three years. Yeah, Archaeomancer is a cool card. It's just, like, not something that we can play in this deck, I don't think. 
Um, and isn't this, like, Luis's favorite card ever? Isn't his face literally on it? <laughs> Sometimes being a good mod. <laughs> this is your favorite card, right? But this card looks horrible. I'm not gonna take it. I, 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 I will be smarter than that. Pista strike strategic creature with flying its controller gets a poison encounter. <laughs> Alright, it's just three mana to destroy a creature. Uh, signal pest could be interesting. We don't have that many creatures. We don't have seven creatures. I actually want to pick up some creatures. We need more creatures. Oh my god. This is like... Alright, we need to pick up more creatures. Phyrexian Swarm Lord, Infect. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1 1 insect creature token with Infect for each poison counter your opponents have. So this card doesn't do anything. Uh, Corrosive yeah. Gale. Corrosive Gale deals X damage to each creature with flying. Glycerin Elf, Phyrexian Hulk. Maybe we just take Hulk. Six mana? Maybe we just take Mutagenic Growth. We just have so few creatures, I feel like it's not gonna be good. You've never seen Swarm Lord before? It does have Infect. If this thing gets through one time, we could be on the Infect plan. Maybe we play... Then we, suddenly this is back on the menu, and then maybe Glistener Elf is on the menu. Then maybe we're just an Infect deck. <laughs> uh, let's see. Skywander Drake can block only creatures with flying. It's a 3 mana 3 one. That seems quite good, actually. Lurking Croc. Uh, 3 mana 2 2 Bloodthirst for 1. Nah. Cancel's also whatever. Love the Arc and Diabolic Tutor. Yeah, I really like it too. I think we're just taking this Drake Arena. Looks very good. Uh, what is this? Petra, blah, blah, blah. Three mana. When Petra Hydronics becomes target of a spell or ability, return it to its owner's hand. Oh, so it like always just comes back to your hand, but it costs four. Gristleback. 3 mana, 2-2, two, two, Bloodthirst, 1. Sacrifice that you gain life equal to its power. Um, <laughs> each line gets plus 2 plus 2 as long as it's a creature. What a weird card. I kind of like this thing. This Petra thingity. It seems fine. It, it never dies. Yo, Reggie, how are you? Welcome on in. How are you doing? Here's a question. Are we really playing the Swarm Lord? Like, it, it can win games on its own. It fights on a different axis than everything else, but it could just do it on its own. Put target permanent on top of its owner's library. This card looks great. Temporal Spring looks... And a Disciple for blue. Target creature gains flying until the turn, and for black, target creature gets minus two minus oh until the turn. Uh, yeah, I think... It, this doesn't look bad, but I think this looks just way better. Uh, this is the pack with Heritage Druid, which we're not playing. Mero Whisper enters the battlefield target player, puts the top card of the library into the graveyard. Yeah, that's not happening. We're not splashing double black card. Choose a creature type. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn for each permanent chosen of the chosen type you control. We're not playing any of these cards. Baleful Stare. Target opponent reveals their hand. You draw a card for each mountain and red card in it. <laughs> I guess it's like not a bad sideboard card. <laughs> it's better than Spineless Thug. Uh, take just Spike Bayloth. Just this nonsense thing. <laughs> this Glistener Elf. <laughs> we I mean, we could try to play Infect. I don't know. We have two Infect creatures. We have the Glistener Elf and the Phyrexian Swarm Lord. <laughs> Serious question, chat. Are we. Oh, yeah, we have the Sayu Strike too. The Strike Tiger creature with flying, its controller gets a poison counter. Serious question. Are we playing Infect? <laughs> Dude, this is. This is. I think we're playing this even if we don't do the Infect plan. The question is should we just take out Glistener Elf and Pyus Strike out of a deck? And I, I believe the answer is yes. I think it's. kind of silly to to play both of these. I think we should just board those out. Like this. Yeah, this is just big in combat, right? I think we just play it like this. And then we add basic lands. We add one swamp, seven forest, eight islands. Uh, we might want to play more forest than islands, actually. This and this. Although, Golgari Kirun provides green. So no, actually, let's switch back. This is like this. 
Oh, yeah, it's also trying to give me a mountain. Psh, nice try. So this makes it so that it's nine forests, three swamps, and eight islands. Yeah, that sounds not bad. All right, I actually like where we ended up. I like our random infect creature. <laughs> oh, that's right, Nurok familiar? Yeah, he should not be in the deck. He seems quite bad. What are we playing instead of Nurok familiar? Pious Strike? We're gonna kill a flyer, and we're already playing this. I think that's better than Glistener Elf. What do you guys think of the Pius, the, the sorry, the Pistis Strike technology? Like, that means that the next time when we play this, if they already have a poison counter, we play this, and the next upkeep, they already, we already make an, an insect. You think Snap seems good here? Uh, which one's, oh, the Snapper. I don't know. I think I want to keep the Pistis Strike. I, we don't have that much removal in this deck. Just overall, like we have, we have Savage Punch, we have Agony Warp. Oh, I will say that the Snapper is good with Savage Punch, not because you can use it to punch, but it is a ferocious creature, and that actually matters for like the purposes of another creature fighting. We don't have that many four-powered creatures. We don't have almost any ferocious creatures. Oof. I'm gonna go with a pistol strike. Let's just try it. Next time we'll see if a snapper would have been better in that spot. Like, we, we know the switch that would have. Now I'm playing against an infect deck. What is like- Are you really? It's too weird for Infect to be a thing in Chaos, though, because we, we needed- there were two packs, not one, but two packs in that draft that were- that had Infect. Because we got the Pista Strike in one of the packs, the Phyrexian Swarmlord in the same pack that we got the Glistener Elf. Multiple flying Infect creatures? They kill you fast. Infect is kind of cheap. <laughs> the OG Murder Turtle. Okay, we're playing against somebody else who's also brand new to the league. And also, our strong cost is out of date, buddy. Are you okay? Um, oh boy. Oh boy. So literally nothing in our hand is playable. We have our one swamp, though. We're on the... We have a blue sources, yeah. Whenever I lose my match, I bring my strong cost. I think I'm gonna mulligan this hand. It just it we if we had one island, it's just like a no brainer, but it just really doesn't do anything if we don't draw anything. This is a little bit better, it's not great. We do have to scry a land to the top, but then we can ramp and growth into Golgari Q and we're just set. So I think I'll keep this. Perfect. Your brother built a life gain deck during the pre-release only to get infected. <laughs> That's so sad. I assume we're getting our black. Oh no, actually our black star is just gonna be Golgari Kirun. So we should get, let's see what our, we require more of. We require more double blue, I think. Cause we're also gonna get a second green off of Golgari Kirun. So let's get Island right now. On the next turn we'll play Kirun. Nest Invader. Okay. All right, well, we're developing slowly, but then this thing's just gonna stonewall them, which is nice. Moon Glove Extract, it deals two damage to any target. Okay, well, that's this thing is very good against that. Yeah, this keep is very much working out. Oh, we got Drake. I'd much rather they try to Moon Glove Extract and try to tempo us out. So I think yeah, we have Cobra Trap and Echo Encourage Pyres! Yeah, if they want to try to throw the Moonglove Extract at this thing, like, that's totally fine. Oh, wow. Alright, we got invigorated, yo. That is fine, I think. Um... 
This sucks because we're gonna run out this the Drake and it's just gonna get extracted. But I don't think we have much of a choice, right? This is non-creature permanent under your control. Destroy this room by a spell or ability. You may pay green. We can't pay the trap though. This is non-creature, so the Drake doesn't actually. I guess what we could do is oh we can't animate this yet. At some point we can maybe try to animate. Oh no, but it'll be a creature by the time this is animated. So no, still doesn't work. We could try to echo encourage this thing to protect it. Okay, we are ready to draw a big permanent. Yeah, that counts. Let's try to attack. They're probably gonna moon glove it. We'll let it die. Oh, they were cool with it. Well, that's fine. Hey, that was not a bad draw. So now our Cobra Trap is actually just live. And it just makes four one ones. That's uh, acceptable. Contagion Engine was one of my top 10 favorite cards. I We used to have a deck with Contagion Engine uh, when, when I first learned how to play. It was very sweet. Wow, they're letting me just, uh... yeah, I can't, s I'm really surprised they're not killing my Drake, I will say that. Simulan with that host, thank you so much. Welcome on in if you're coming in from Simulan's stream. Thank you, Molly, for the shout out. My name is Gabby, we've never been here before. We're doing a chaos draft. And we're about to crew this Bomat Bazaar barge. Get in there. Pow, pow, pow. What is the Grand Architect Treasure Mage deck? Uh, no, no, no. It was kitchen table very bad decks. Pernicious. <laughs> they were not good decks. Not at all. Um, kind of sort of want to savage punch that spider. They can't take it down. But then I can't Cobra Trap is the only problem. Oh, Ferocious is activated right now. Yep. Ferocious is live. Yo, Bertoli, welcome on in. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just pass. We'll see if they moon glove extract. They're, they're so scared to use it. Yo, Girthry, how are you? Welcome on in. I think I'll let this just resolve. I don't think I even care to... Like, I could have tried to put three creatures in front of it or something. They're not doing anything. Snakes! Yeah, this is not a bad combo at all with Courage. Not at all. Uh, can we kill them? If we... They have three cards in hand. If we echo encourage one of the snakes, now they're all three threes. We crew one of them with this. So we hit with Bazaar Barge. One, two, so it's five, eight. Oh, and then we could also even Savage Punch and Regress. We could do all the things. Did you only take and play the Cobra Track for branding purposes? No, I actually think it's not too bad. Yeah, I, I let's do the thing. Let's try to echo encourage first one of these snakes. Okay, that seemed to work just fine. Let's crew the bizarre barge with one of them. Wait, do we want to do that? We don't even need to do that. We could just... Oh, no, 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 because we needed to savage punch the giant spider. Yes, we do want to do that. All right, let's crew one of these. We want to savage punch this to this. I don't see why not to just kill the Eldrazi spawn. Like, if they block here, they don't die, so... Bam. Alright, let's see you get out of this. Ooh, they didn't have it! Echoing Courage and Snakes was really nice. I think them being so...
gun shy about using the moon glove extract to actually cost them. Because we had no way to crew the bizarre barge. Instead, they let us hit with a drake like twice. Not even. They let us hit with a drake one time and then they hit us, let us hit with a bizarre, the Bomat bizarre barge once because of it. So. Yeah, these were some really brave snakes. They they don't fear anyone or anything. So we've played against some giant spiders and some artifacts. We played against some just like little duders. I actually think that the the snapper didn't look too bad. So yeah, I think and we didn't see any good flyers that we want to take care of. So let's take out the pistol strike. Um Elf seems good against the Dream Deck. You mean Glistener Elf? Or which one? Oh, Weather Seed Elf. What does this one do again? Target creature gains four lock until end of turn. Eh, it's so small, though. I'd rather have higher impact cards. If we, if we see that we get into a game where it's, like, super grindy, we might board that in. I think I'd rather just bring this, the, the turtle. I like turtles. This hand is not keepable. Oh my gosh, this hand's also not keepable. Why? We're on the draw, but this hand doesn't do anything unless we draw... I guess if we draw island and another land, the snapper is like... The combo, I know. It's just we have such expensive cards in this hand. And if we draw black source, agony warp is not too bad. I don't know, would you guys keep this or is this worse than just going to five? This hand doesn't do a lot. I think they, we're supposed to mulligan it. Yeah, people are in the mulligan plan. This is not bad. If we scry an uh, island to the top, this kind of these two start digging us out of this problem we got ourselves into. All right, island, island. I think we're supposed to bottom that. Even though it gets us closer to the bizarre barge, we just need to hit the blue source for Seagate Oracle. It is like, yes, now I'm feeling super good about the decision to do that. All right, now we really, really need to hit the blue source next turn to play Dragon Hunter. Blue source, no! Classic motto bugs. Okay, we still have one turn and it won't be that punishing because I would have agony warped this thing, I think. Come on! Blue source! Yes! Thank you! Uh, yeah, we really got there, fam. I think it's just called Gary Kirun. We have the swamp to even activate. It turns into a 2 2 insect creature with death touch. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Gets us closer to Avenger at some point, too. So let's just take Kirun. That's true. I, I don't even know we would have played it. I guess it's just a morph, so morph is just a fine card to... I mean, they have a trick here, but then I'd rather they just use it. Straight target attacking or blocking creature with power two or less. Uh, that's fine. Um. Wait, this is interesting. We could bard to this turn, or we could go Kirun into Rampant Growth. Or, yeah, we're going to Hearthstone with Molly later. Yeah, we're at 16. I kind of like... No, we should get the barge in play because the barge is going to be able to block this at some point. I guess Agony Warp can take care of it no matter what. Yeah, so let's double ramp then. Let's go Golgari Kirun. Now we need the second blue. This just makes it pretty hype so that if we draw any of our big drops, like if we draw Crab or Avenger, like we're in the business. What is this? Whenever a land enters a battlefield during your control, Territorial Bailiff gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. That is a big boy. This thing, luckily, okay. That's good. That is very good. These don't have Death Touch, right? And this doesn't have Trample. This takes two to activate. Um, they do have the green creatures for crab. So I think here we just pass with the intention of blocking. Uh, can get them good with Kirun and Agony Warp if they don't landfall. Yeah, maybe. That, that could be really nice. So I think we just 
pass the turn. Oh. Yeah, this can later tap too. All right, so let's just pass. How do they activate our trap card? They would have to try to kill our Kieran when it's not a creature. Hmm, they didn't send. That's fine. I think we don't do anything about that. Yo, Joel! Joel, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. Let's get some snake hyper, Joel. You are the newest Snickerinos. Infantry veteran. Target attacking creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Sure. So they didn't do anything, which means that we can safely do a Cobra Trap. Uh, regress is not too shabby. I still want to leave up the option of Golgari Kirun to block the Territorial Bailoth. You didn't activate my trap card, but I'm going to play it anyway. Yeah, I kind of want to barge too. If we draw a land, then we can also regress potentially. I want to leave up enough to Agony Warp no matter what. So let's go one, two, three, four. Uh, no, Joseph, I think I'd rather have Agony Warp than Giant Growth. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, sure. Yo, Scolaris, how are you? Alright. What is a Chaos Draft? It's the, Every pack is from a different set. Good, thanks, Scolaris. So, um, we could try to block with a Bizarre Barge and then Agony Warp. We'd have to shrink theirs and then we pump ours. We could also just chump with a snake. Or we could actually just double block and see what they do and then we can agony warp. Actually, that sounds good. Let's do that. Let's go one, two. I don't want to be forced to make the move. Uh, thank you, Wolfman. I appreciate it. Welcome back with the eight months. I hope you are having a good day. I like this. Okay. Um, now we just have to hope they don't have the pump spell, but here we just Agony Warp to shrink, and then we, because they assigned the bow map first, and then we just make this. Oh, it's actually just both to this thing. All right, let's just try to Agony Warp both times there. Oh shit, they did have it. Oh, this was different though. Actually, this is gonna be okay. If that's all they have, the trade still just goes through. Yeah, that actually worked out just okay. And now we'll have the biggest creature on the board. Okay. Swing. Might as well swing with some snakes. I'm glad they didn't have a bigger pump spell than that. He said. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, they don't have any spells. This is counter target spell and control appears one for each card in your graveyard. We have quite a few. That's nice. This thing transformed. Can be blocked by more than one creature. That's okay. They probably are just going to try to block this to this. So I could just regress it and attack with this and then they can probably chump. This is attacking creature. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna regress this now. One, two, three. All right, that was enough to win the match. <laughs> you said, oh my God, I want a horse named Tina Turner. Yeah, that's, that's a very cute name for a horse. It is very adorable. I want a horse named another slightly smaller horse. Well, it sounds like the horse has a baby, so. Yeah, too many snakes. Opponent couldn't even handle it. Roar, I'm a bear. Thank you so much for the five months. Working from home so I get to catch the stream live. I love it. Working from home so get to catch the stream live. I'm into it. Thank you. Happy Friday, you too. Red Undead, we're playing a Chaos Draft. And it is going great so far. I like our deck. I think our deck's pretty cool. It's having, like, 
mana it's had mana problems every time but it also is very cool when it doesn't have other mana problems like we're gonna keep this and just hope to draw some green sources oh i really want to win a game with poison counters please we were gonna win that game with poison counters when we bounced that thing our opponent was just off it they're like okay this isn't worth it anymore mr crabs love me a king crab king crabs are cute and they are delicious i'll hail the crab How's everyone doing today, by the way? How's life chat? Any cool plans this weekend? Not to grabby Gabby. <laughs> what is this? It doesn't have a face. Blade main Baku. Whenever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, you put a key counter on it. You pay one to remove a key counter. For each counter removed, blade main Baku gets plus two plus O until end of turn. Sure. What? Your brother's getting married tomorrow? That's so cool, Molly. Wait, then two good transfers in our deck. Tracers in our deck. That sucks. For us, let's play this. Next turn, we can maybe play like Temporal Spring, Bounce their Baku or something. Dude, that's so cool, Molly. Are you in the bridal party? You guys have have you guys have you guys done the bachelor's party yet? You went to a keto class today and had way more fun than I thought. That's awesome, Cyclo. When you discover a new form of like exercise or like activity that's physical and it's really fun. It always feels like, just like, oh, feels like you got there. No wonder there were Corgi picks. All right, the Baku's getting in there for one. It's not super formal, but we'll be doing a few things beforehand. That sounds really fun, Molly, I love it. Snake Charmer wins the league with Cobras. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. No, don't do the thing. Okay, I really want them to not do the thing. Put a plus one plus one counter and target you control if it's legendary. Then if it fights target you and opponent controls. All right, we, so we just get to blow them out here, huh? Then we don't get to play the Nantuka Tracer, but that's that's also fine. They're also taking a ton of damage now. That backfired, yo. <laughs> that really backfired for them. Get their little Drake. <laughs> now we can put a card in the bottom of the library with Tracer. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they should have fought us when we were topped out. Should have fought us. Especially that one, because they, they weren't even going to make the creature that much bigger. Like, Lust for War. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature becomes tapped. Lust for War deals 3 damage to the creature's controller. And Enchanted creature attacks each combat available. Alright, that is fine. Wild the Cuddle is a 2-2. Two -two. All right. Whenever it becomes tapped, that card looks quite bad. Uh, what are we doing this turn, by the way? Yo, Hooting Mandrill, how are you? Welcome. It did used to be good. Was it really? It looks very bad. Like, I think I'm going to let them... This deals me how much damage? Three damage when I tap it? I kind of want to just have them put the cuddle back on top of their deck well i don't want to bounce my own uh my own one yeah i kind of want to put this back on their deck and then when i draw a land hopefully draw a land next turn i can play king crab and just start bouncing this and then we win this race because we take three but they take three every time right that seems reasonable Yeah, so we take three, but they take three, and I don't know. The situation looks like it benefits us. You said there were a bunch of walls and stuff, so you could just stick it on the little dweeb and... Oh, yeah, I guess in the, like, a wall-heavy set, it makes a lot of sense. Is this really the best you've got, a wall and a cuddle? It's like turn five. Okay, that makes more sense. When it ETBs, tap target, land, and opponent controls, that land doesn't tap to the things, controllers next on set. Oh, that's so annoying, because now we draw a land, we can't play King Crab. That was extremely rude. We also can't play the Antuka Tracer. If I do draw a green source or a black source, that was just a very, very good draw. Hold on. I was trying to figure out 
figure out if like playing Nantuka Tracer makes more sense over holding Agony Warp. Because next turn in combat, I can just shrink this and like kill it and shrink, kill this and shrink this and take no damage. But I should just probably play Nantuka Tracer as Magius. You guys like warp? We'd have to do it in combat though, because I, I want to save the life. Oh yeah, King Crab is very messed up pernicious. We could do it now, but then we take two more damage. Yeah, let's just do it in combat for them. Oh, no, I'm not gonna kill the Wild Nakato with that. I'm gonna shrink it, and I'm gonna kill the Stenzia Innkeeper. Uh, minus three, minus so, minus so, minus three. Yep, that worked out really nicely. Okay, I'm happy that we waited. That was not too shabby. You thought it was a cute little crab, bro. Oh yeah, no, he's a monster. Like, does that look like that green creature's having a good time? Because it's, I guarantee you it's not. What does this do? Sacrifice barbarian recruiter, destroy target land. Uh, okay, that's not actually gonna matter. He's kind of a bro. He's like, here, let's take this guy. I'm going to set him right over here on top of your library. Conveniently for me. Low magic carp. Oh, thank you so much for the eight months. I appreciate that. How are you doing, by the way? I feel like I haven't seen you in a little bit. I hope life's good. I know you were like buying a house, right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> here you go, buddy. You can draw this kitten for the rest of the game. <laughs> I got you covered, fam. Thank you so much, Magikarp. You said you've been very busy. Yep, you're all moved in. That is awesome. Let me get some, actually, more of that situation going on. Uh, that's fine. I don't know why they thought that that... Oh, they just wanted to do it. They wanted to feel something. I'm so happy to hear that. That is awesome. The The... One of the best feelings ever is when you're done moving and you're finally, like, feeling like you're settled into the new place. It's just, like... We got there, fam. I love it. We should drop the millstone for that crab. This card is very good. Uh... Oh, I, I, I was digging the, the spiteful land destruction. I, I would have done it too. It was just weird because I didn't realize they were scooping. So I was like, okay. And then they just, then it all made sense. Target opponent reveals our hand. You draw a card for each mountain or red card in it. I kind of like this baleful stare for this matchup. Mm. Like, they seem to have a lot of red cards, right? You lost a different crab yesterday? Worm fan crab. What does that do? Let me see. Having a house warming party this weekend for my MTG friends. I love it. That's so amazing. Card worm fang crab. Is that not the command? It's not exclamation mark card? What are we taking out? Uh, they didn't seem to have any flyers, so I just pissed a strike. Creature Nightmare Crab 3-6. Can't be blocked. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent chooses a permanent you control other than Worm Fang Crab and exiles it. When Worm Fang Crab leaves the battlefield... Oh, that's so weird. Oh boy. We keep having these draws. All islands, all green cards. Kind of want to mulligan this. If we had one green source... Must be easy. But then we, we're so far from casting the Chieftain. Feels bad, man. This is better. It's not good. We don't have any creatures to play, but maybe they try to destroy a land and then we can Cobra Trap them. Bottom. We have not gotten a single good hand yet. We, we, we keep having these like heinously unplayable draws and then we'll actually draw out of it. Like we'll draw out of it relatively well. But anyway, uh, Magikarp, I'm super happy for you. That is awesome news. And I hope you have a good time at your housewarming. Housewarmings are great. Yes, we have won despite our hands, not because of them. They have been very bad. <sighs> yeah, okay. Oh, man. I was just hoping for, like, I don't know, like a little three drop or something. 
sure. Whenever a kiln walker attacks, it gets plus three plus oh until end of turn. So it's a three mana three three basically. Okay, now that we draw a blue swords, I think we'll feel fine. Oh no, they want to use their uh, arbor roll for something. That sucks for us. Oh, I sure can gatekeeper. It's a skill. They didn't do anything. Why didn't they attack with Arbor Elf? Hmm, that sucks. All right, we are losing badly now. I guess if we still draw an island next turn, we can still play the Seagate Oracle. Seagate Oracle can't even block these things though. Opponent draws the bad Ponza. Oh yeah. Okay, that's not nothing. Let's get Seagate down. We're gonna have to take another six though. We're so far away from King Crab. I think we just take Temporal Spring. It at least buys us some time bouncing this thing back back on top, or if they play a bigger creature this turn, bouncing that. Hey Gabby, save the Vidfag Black Snake on the road today. He was such a grump. Oh, how did you save it? That's really cool. Was it? I know. Goodbye, little Sebastian. <laughs> how did you save it? Was it just like on the side of the road or something? What does this do? Living Totem. Uh, when Living Totem enters the battlefield, you may put a plus one plus one counter on another target creature. Okay, I guess we're gonna be uh, temporal springing that thing. We're taking seven. That's fine. We'll have to block here and take some here and then bounce this thing. Ooh. I think we can't do anything about it th though. I think we need to go Temporal Spring here. And then we'll have to probably like Giant Growth here and hope that that trade works. He was sunning himself and he was crossing. I stopped traffic. The bro deck, the shovel got him to the other side. Oh, that's awesome. Tie box. Thanks. Good on you for saving an animal. I have saved a lot of little baby birds that were in like bad spots and then took them to better spots or try to find where their nest was again. Okay, sure, they're keeping our island tapped, which is not great, but it does mean that we get to giant growth on this turn. Yeah, if they tapped our green, we would have been in pro Like, we might have had to just giant growth anyway, and they probably wouldn't attack. We would have wasted a card, but we would have had to, I think. Okay, so I believe we have to block here and giant growth this one. Because then this can block this all the time, and then if we find a way to like bounce that or something, we might be... Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We're still far away from Avenger. But we're only going down to two next turn. We could also even Echo Encourage this thing to take this down, and then this blocks us all the time. He said, I rescued a baby squirrel. I was hoping he'd grow up and be my best friend, but I guess I'm okay with him going back. And so, oh, pernicious. Yes, the blue source would have been gasolina. It did make our previous turn better, though. Oh my gosh, it'd be so good if they activate my trap card. Well, they're choosing not to attack with elf. They're playing a clue stone instead. What was the point of that? I think we're gonna have to try to take this down with a echoing courage. They are keeping up red, but I kind of feel like we have to. Because now we can just block this always. Whenever Goblin Swine Rider becomes blocked, it deals two damage to each attacking creature and each blocking creature. Jeez. Agony War Block! Oh my gosh. To each attacking creature and each blocking creature. I think it 
deals damage. Yeah, I think we have to stare because we don't just we don't have any options. All right, let's not whiff. There's one red card. Golem Guardian, so Keds on Bruiser has Mountain Walk and an protection from artifacts reach. They have a million things. Okay, we drew a Okay, hold on. Does that keep us alive? We did it ish. This is to their hand. So we can block this and then bounce this and then these two will take damage. And then they'll play like one of these punks, I think. Well, we've been just barely holding on. Are you gonna slay? I still think we should do this and still bounce this. Because we could have blocked here and then taken one. Or, or we can just bounce the next thing that they play. It does kill the Oracle is the only problem. Maybe we just block here, let this one get in, then let them play their next thing. And whenever Goblin Swine Rider becomes blocked, it deals two damage to each attacking creature and each blocking creature, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's block here. You're right, it deals damage before it deals, or the trigger happens before it deals damage. Scarboros with the 27 months. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I like this plan better. So let's go like this. Let's let the trigger happen. That's why they didn't attack with the elf. That makes sense. And now we can just bounce this thing. Yeah, that, that makes sense why they didn't attack for the Arbor Elf. Look, but we are in a spot now where we can Cobra Trap, and Cobra Trap makes blockers. Like, as long as they don't deal us direct damage, I think we might have this. Or, like, not have it, but just kind of be stabilizing-ish. <laughs> mm, they're just playing Living Totem and putting a counter on what Arbor Elf? Sure. If we draw a line, we can just Avenger. Avenger's big game. And then if we draw another card, we can just stabilizing ish. Feels good. Feels amazing, man. So what are they playing next turn? They still have these three. Protection from artifacts and reach. Yeah, I mean, as long as we... All right, let's just... Oh my god, if they shock us, I'm gonna lose my mind. Avenger! Yeah! Crab Dream is still alive. I mean, we just need to stabilize. We've been trying to stabilize the entire game. They got off to a pretty fast start. I like how we've navigated it, though. Look at my nice plants. That was loud. This thing would be a problem. That would be our only problem. If they, even if we, like, crab, it, it doesn't, we'd still have to figure out how to deal with them making a 4-4 golem every turn. Though this, these plants get big pretty fast, so... Land? Oh. So they could actually... Um, we can't actually Savage Punch that thing, unfortunately, because they left up enough mana to, to, to transform it, which sucks for us. We also don't have a land. We can't Agony Warp. Savage Punch is not a good option this turn. So I guess the only thing we can really do is pass with Cobra Trap and make some Cobras. Golem has to fight creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, basically what would happen here if we try to go Avengers on a card, punch this, is they would fight their elf in response. The elf would die. This would be fine. Then I punch it. Then this hits and transforms. Swing with Avenger? No, no, no. That sounds horrible. I, I don't, I definitely don't want to do that. If I had Agony Warp, I would do that, but. Yes, if we, Agony Warp, if we have Agony Warp when they're gonna go fight, maybe that changes things a little bit. I, I Currently, as it stands, we have no plays. They are gonna fight on the turn. Well, no, if they fight on the turn, it doesn't help them because it doesn't transform. It needs to die. 
That card's cool, but it's a weird card. It does has a does have a lot of RTFC components to it. They drew a land, so we know that they still have just the archers and the ogre. It needs to die. When Golden Guardian dies this turn, return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. Yo, Wobbly, how are you? Yeah, they want to keep just holding up two mana all the time because they're worried about... They want to try to fight the, go the, the Golden Guardian. All right. I got some snakes. Uh, well, that does help. Very hungover. That plays. That plays. <laughs> then since it's Golden Guardian RTFC a third time. Um. Yeah, we still don't have attacks, huh? We just really don't. Just play a forest, I guess. As long as Golden Guardian has two mana, we can't we can't really ever fight. But we do have plants now. Yeah, we're gonna have to play a long game against this and just hope that they don't hit a flyer. Like, we have induced paranoia if they hit some sort of flyer or direct damage, we can counter it. I don't believe I care about this. This is just mountain walking, it's a 3-3. Three, three. We don't have any mountains, so that's fine. That resolves. Okay, they're down to zero cards. Why can't we fight something other than Guardian? Because... Oh, yeah, but I, I don't think we want to Savage Punch. Because, like, if they have any way of... They could fight two things and also, like... It, they just need to make sure that the Guardian dies. Well, at least Avenger's doing some work. At some point, these things are going to be, like, three, four, four or fives, and then we can maybe start attacking. Anyone else having sound issues with the volume level? Mine looks fine. We are in a weird spot. That is fine. What is the Hearthstone Street gonna be about? We're just gonna play, ooh, that gives us black. My info panel, is it new? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. It's not new, but I do appreciate it. Um, now they have just infinite mana, so they can, even if we, like, go fight with them and then they respond, they still just die. Or, like, Guardian just still dies. Like, we need to do it when there was no fight happening. Maybe, Yager. Yeah, it's been there for a little bit. Okay, well... We have black now. That's not too bad. We also have a flyer in this deck. Sounds good, Molly. See you in a bit. Yes, we have no outs to deal with a guardian, but the guardian is also not dying, so we might be on the like get a flyer, attack them plan potentially. We have a lot of blockers for their stuff. Oh, they, this thing has reach, doesn't it? I guess maybe we won't be getting in there with a flyer. Maybe we're gonna have to mill them out? This is a very weird game. Yeah, this thing is a 3-1, this is a 2-4. And then if we shrink this, then they fight this to this. Or actually, that'd be fine, because then the Golem Guardian, I guess it can fight two things maybe if they wanna do that. Our Courage is also gone, yes. Oh, it's true. Protection from artifacts. <laughs> that's interesting. That's so funny. If that's the case, I could just Savage Punch it. I can just Savage Punch uh, my Avenger to this thing, and then we can start attacking with this. This can't fight it anyway. That seems fine. Yeah. You know which card we're gonna have to counter? If they ever had the have the card that makes your creature attack every turn, they've played that before, and we can't let them have that. One, two, three, four. And then that gives us enough to induce paranoia for sure. So let's just play Gorilla. We would counter shock as well. We have induced paranoia, like we we are kinda covered, but we only get one chance. The coddle's fine. 
Vad är de med då? Nice. Crabs at the bottom. Uh, do we have lethal on that? I don't believe so. I think we need... Let me see. I'm a little worried about doing it when we're at two is part of my problem. Because if we have anything, we just... Because I actually think we're in, like, a pretty good spot. We don't actually know what they have in hand. Sacrifice Barbarian, Rift Cutter, Destroy Target Land. Do I care about this? I don't. No, we, we haven't seen a sweeper from what we've seen. Do I play modern PPTQs? I don't really play PPTQs, but I, I am going to play GP Detroit. I'm going to play Tron. Hmm, I have circular logic too. So let's look at what happens here. Uh, I have one, seven. This is 21 damage. Then I have one, two, three, four. Uh, so it's 25, 28, 31, 32, 37. Yeah, and they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need to wait till we have, like... Because we could also... We don't we can't activate the key rune, so we need to wait for another land, basically. Uh, I guess we could remove our blocker with warp, and then pump this to get in for, like, an extra... We do have the counters for both Induced Paranoia and Circular Logic. So, yeah, if... If they, if they block my highest power creatures, they can't block this, but they block Avenger, Gorilla. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they block Avenger, Gorilla, and then four of these. So that's 12. So how much is unblocked? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's actually like... Yeah, so they'd have six, right? So they'd block this, this, and then four of these, which leaves us with four from this because we're gonna pump it. Or sorry, six from this because it's so six, seven. Yep, it is actually exactly lethal. So let's try to go for it. Let's go. We have the counter. So let's go Agony Warp, minus three, minus O. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, I I lied. We're not pumping this thing. Cake Taro. Oh, Cake just went live. Yeah, it's still 14 without a pump. So let's still shrink. I think just this punk over here. I think we just kill this thing over here. All right, and we're covered on the counters too. Cause we have a million cards in the yard. So let's see them do some blockerinos. Sure. I for just for a split second I forgot I thought Agony Warp was like the Golgari card that's similar, the one that costs three that is like you give a creature plus two plus two and you give another creature minus two minus two. And so I was like counting on pumping the Drake, but that's just totally wrong. Pass priority. Oh, it looks like they got a little something something. They're fighting the Nakatl, that's fine. Oh, I should actually regen this thing. Uh, let me, it looks like they're doing something, so let's actually just let them do the thing. Are they fighting again? Sure. Are they just like trying to waste time for like no reason? I think they're just trying to waste time, which is funny because we have six minutes. It's not gonna matter. They're about to lose their whole thing. I will lose my mana. Sure, that's fine. Yep. I think they were not even doing that. I think they were trying to time us out, maybe. Not violent! Have some humanity. Yeah, it's like. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. I need to go use the restroom for a sec. Um, but let me put a BRB screen on and play some e ads. And when we come back, we might 306 0 or 204 0. Sheep chair is missing. I'm using it as a footrest right now.
Yo, yo, yo. All right, let's do this. No, why are we crying? Did chair die? No, 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 no. Chairs, yes. So, slow bars, this is, this is funny. The chair emote died because I was trying to make room for, for like the Zoe sip emote. But then there's a bug on Twitch right now that doesn't let you upload new emotes. So the chair is just dead and we don't have a new emote. <laughs> I am talking to my emote artist to get up the problem fixed and then Twitch is going to help me manually upload it. It was just funny. Yeah, you can see Gabby sip. I'll show you. I got you, fam. It's very cute. It's really cute. Um, ah, look at it. Isn't that so cute? I love it. I think it's adorable. I think Nina crushed it as always. It's so cute. I know. I love it. Oh, bam. I know. I need that emote in my life too. My gosh. Nina is great. Yeah. The only problem was that the emote is off by one pixel by one pixel on every corner. It's supposed to be 28 by 56 by 112 and they're 29, 57 and 113. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this even though we don't have uh, the green for the the trap card. Yeah, look, finally we have a real hand. I know Yuka. Can you believe it? A real hand, a real keep with things we can play. Oh man, we're doing it! All right, all right. I hope our opponent goes land destruction. We play Cobra Trap. Getcha. Cobra Trap has been pretty impressive, even if we've never actually activated the trap card. Ooh, I like that. But yeah, I'm so excited for this emote. It's so cute. Look at it. That juice box looks so nice. Hey, was that was you then, Matthew? GG's. Your deck was sweet. I, I boarded in the card that was supposed to be, I thought was going to be good against you, and it really wasn't. The like, look at your hand, and then I draw cards equal to the number of, uh, what is it? Mountains or red cards that you control. Um... Yeah, I kind of actually like doing this. It's just a time walk. Hey, Chainer Mage! Our, yeah, we're chaosing again today. We're 2040 right now. And our. Oh man, this doesn't count as a planes though. But yeah, that was just time walk. Just fine. It is just fine. Alright, they might trade here, and that's okay. We have a bunch of six drops coming. Yep, I accept. Sure, that is also acceptable. I do like that we have the card so that we can just know. Oh man, we've never been able to use King Crab. We never even cast him. This is gonna be the first game we do it. I think we lead with Phyrexian Swarmlord though. We might be, oh, we have the plummet effect that gives you an infect counter, huh? That isn't our main deck. Whenever an artifact enters a battlefield under your control, reckless fire, we reduce one damage to each opponent. So, the way they're playing... Okay, if they didn't tap out, I was just going to Cobra Trap on their turn, I think. Mountain, Hellfire, Mongrel. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has two or fewer cards, it deals two damage. And three mana, two, two. Veiled Serpent. Three mana, when an opponent casts a spell, a Veiled Serpent is an enchantment. Veiled Serpent becomes a 4-4 four, four creature with this snake can attack unless the defending player controls an island. Well, that card's good against us. Wobbly, how are you? Ooh, that was not too shabby of a draw. Okay, I think we're just playing Phyrexian Swarmlord, right? Finally a play! Taste the infect. I know, Avengers is a great draw. We also have like the double green for it, which is really nice. So the next land that we draw, we can just Avenger. And we we could potentially even, because um, we haven't seen much of our opponent's deck. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the one that, if it's targeted. Oh, what is this? Your skeleton key. Equipped creature has skulk. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Okay. Oh, Rampant Growth is so good with Avengers Zendikar. <laughs> I wish we had some sort of like giant growth. Because currently, as it stands, we're going to attack and just trade with like... Yeah, this doesn't work. 
Drawing bombs is how you win in non-potted chaos draft. Oh yeah, it certainly is. I I love it, Slumars. Swarm Lord's text should be come at me, boy. So I don't actually, unfortunately, don't think um, we have any attacks with a Swarm Lord. What is a keyword skulk? So basically creatures that, it can't be blocked by creatures that are larger than that, I believe. Whenever, it can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Yeah. So let's just play King Crab and pass. Oh, snap. That is big game. It's also not green, which sucks for us. I think it's just time to get rolling with Avenger. Hope that they can't kill it next turn. So we go like land, Avenger. And next turn, if we don't draw land, we can just ramp and growth to make like make a land drop. And if we draw land, we just get to land ramp and growth bash. That's really nice. <laughs> All right, so we still don't have attacks, but we, I think we're going to have a pretty sweet attack next turn. As long as I don't kill my Avenger, that would be a problem. Kill it with poison counters, that would be nice. Mm. How'd they kill it? Red Zen Zenith. All right. Well, that kind of sucks. Rampant Growth does get us our black um, for like future turns. I think we want to wait until we have Agony Warp up to attack with either of those, uh, either of these really. So we could attack with King Crab. What does that Infect Die do? At the beginning of com of your upkeep, create a one-one green insect creature token with Infect for each poison counter our, your things have yes our opponent's deck is pretty good we just have to make sure we kill them before this kills us so i would be kind of down to attack with this just to trade with like we trade down to just this but then they're left with these two and then this guy can't get in but maybe we just wait until next turn and this turn we just go like rampant growth get our black source and then if they kill a non-creature spell they have to kill a land specifically Kind of like attacking with both. They're going to take down our Phyrexian thing. I'd rather do that when we have Agony Warp. I, I think I'm just going to hold off. And the next turn, I'm going to attack with both. Yo, PVT, welcome. I just really want to have Agony Warp. I think it's going to be good. They're equipping their Dragon Short. Yeah, it just bounces it. And then we can kill this. I don't know. I really want to. I, I really want this thing to get through. Like I don't want it to just trade with this stupid thing. Okay, they looted away an island. Flying as long as it controls an artifact? Sure. Still nothing with Phyrexian, dude. Ah, that's not too bad. That might matter in a future turn. All right, so let's just end with these two and then we'll have plants to chump with. We also have Cobra Trap in case. God, Echo Encourage would be so good. So let's. Slay with these both. Bam. Get in there. We really need to get it moving too because that dragon's going to kill us. Okay. Um, so we can actually do this pretty easy, I think. Uh, we can... I don't even think we need to bounce the 3-3, three -three, honestly. Uh, we're, cause we're gonna kill it. We can shrink the power of the Reckless Fire Weaver and shrink the toughness of this. Um, and then this will, we assign this guy first. So we, we shrink this one, we kill this one. This one stays in play and this one just dies. Yeah, that sounds actually pretty nice. So let's go assign like that. Go Agony Warp, minus three this one and minus three that one. And then one, two. They should have put the scob in front of that too. They were already 
committed to blocking like a lot of stuff. Yeah, that actually worked out great. And now we also have Induced Paranoia and co Cobra Trap. Yo, John, how are you? Welcome on in. We still have to deal with the, the dragon, but now we are in a much better position to like attack and... Yep, they're still attacking with their dragon. Hopefully we get them to the point where they have to like leave it behind as a blocker. Sure. Clinging anemones. It's a four mana one four with evolve. Frozen solid. Enchant creature, enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. When enchanted creatures dealt damage, destroy it. Uh, I think we induce paranoia of that. We very much would like to be attacking with this thing. In fact, it is crucial to our plans. We did not have black to cast it, unfortunately. I mean, one of our only flyers is down, right? We still can draw. We are live to draw our plummet effect. This doesn't fly, unfortunately. All right, well, start sending. Phase two. Yep. I know, Rain. We use the black for the agony warp, which is which is fine. Holding up Cobra Trap is just better than this, right? Because we have... Yeah, we can't do both. And they're just not going to kill a non-creature spell. Yeah, so let's just pass with Cobra Trap, I think. That that actually makes attackers that can attack, whereas the, the Petra Ronix thing is not doing anything. All right, this is the good news. Oh, boy. Until end of turn target, you gain tap. Return target non non permanent to its owner's hand. Jeez, they're gonna bounce my Phyrexian dude. Yeah, that kind of sucks a little bit. <laughs> We're done next turn. Reckless Fire Weaver, that thing, planes. Oh no, another flyer? Okay, we need Echoing Courage, like, now. Don't do go Tracer, why? We have nothing. All right, we need a couple of, like, plummet effects. <laughs> That's sort of like Courage. That card's so bad. I want to take that out, actually. It seemed very bad against them, too. Hmm... Oh, Spike Veiloth actually didn't look bad against the cards that we saw, right? We saw a bunch of 1-3s, 1-4s. Maybe. You said Pax Disdain is still reasonable. Which one's that one? Pax Disdain. Choose a creature type, target creature gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn for each permanent of the chosen type you control. Uh, but it's a black card. Uh, we do have three black sources. We have Kirun Swamp and Rampant Growth. But we also need it, we need like Cobra Trap in play for that to actually work, you know? Oh, Spider Silk Net. Yeah, that's pretty good. We have a, a lot of things that could potentially block these. Ogre Jailbreaker is bay, and yeah, we also don't have gates. I think they're just gonna bring in a Spider Silk Net. They had a lot of flyers. So between the strike and the spider silk net, we'll just figure out a way to be able to block their flyers. Yo, SB1, how are you? Welcome on in. Oh boy, this hand is kind of bad. But four CMC four four in black, yeah, it's it's still still bad. What do we do with this hand? This hand doesn't do anything. This hand doesn't do much. In fact, it is actively kind of bad. The combo, though. Gabby doesn't believe in the grab. Yeah, I think I might mulligan. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, we do have the combo. <sighs> I might mull. It just doesn't do anything. 
Sam's not that much better, but I think this one we have to keep because it's sex. Now I'm feeling bad about mulliganing. I think we need to try to drop blue. Blue, blue, blue. Damn it. <sighs> Damn it! How oh, they have so many flyers. This hand just looks exactly the same as our last hand, no? Rip crab mold for our sins. I know, we're about to rip our uh, trophy dreams. Look, as they go away slowly into the horizon. Okay, well, they drew us into lands, basically. The Swarm Lord and Agony Warp were not live draws, so... That is fine. Oh my gosh, they drew us right into it! Thank you, opponent! This can block this, too. We can never Savage Punch with this, though. It's unfortunate. That's a flyer, too. Sure. They milled Forest and Swamp. Bowman Bazaar Barge is not too shabby. That also can punch one of these flyers. Echo Encourage. Still no attacks. I know, our Infect Poison plans also ripped that. We never got to do that. Sure, we're taking three. We didn't see any bounce spells, right? Also, isn't the dragon double red? <laughs> When Wolf a Fang Turtle enters the battlefield, exile a land you control. When it leaves the battlefield, return exile land to the battlefield under its owner's control. Sure. Rampant Gross is not bad. Um. Oh boy. We really do want to hit the Rampant Gross, but then we're going to take so much damage next turn, because right now we would have to go like Bowmat, Bazaar Barge, Savage Punch, the Drake, and then attack. And then we take two, five next turn. And then we also get to Rampant Growth. Yeah, that seems good enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is... Tap any number of creatures you control with total power three or more. Okay, this doesn't target. Good. So we can use this to crew, and it's fine. Ahoy, Gooby and Chad. Yo, Bryce Shadow, how are you? It's good to see you. Let's go punch the, this to the Drake. Punch real good. Back with it. No reason not to. Really? That was, did they really just think that throwing this away was worth those like seven life that they saved or whatever? That's surprising me. I think because of the induced paranoia, we just get an island. Ah. Yeah, dude, I that was really good for us. I did not ex expect that. Hit him high, hit him low, hit him where the mana flows. What do you guys think? Do we get a swamp considering that we still have, um, oh, actually, Agony Warp is in the yard. So yeah, no, there's no reason to. Let's just get island. Yeah, I like that slew bars. I don't think it's like the best format ever, but I but I've been fine with it. They milled island and swamp. That's actually fine. <laughs> Let's play forest. Wow, are we trying to race? Is that what's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess let's crew. Yeah, I think we should do it on their turn, too. Just chump with a 1-1. One, one. So yeah, let's crew this with this. Wait, is that better than, like, Cobra Trapping right now, crewing with three of those things, this, and hitting for eight? And putting them to 12 as well? Maybe it's not. Maybe we... Because they, they pass with nothing, but I think... I think if we just Cobra Trap this turn... And then crew with one, two, three. And then we, like, it basically means that we get in for three more damage, which I think matters because I think we're racing now. 
I love Chaos Drafting. It's very high on my list. I strongly prefer playing in Pod Knowledge with Pack Selection. That does make sense. I, I've never... I think I've only done one Chaos Draft before in paper, so I never hasn't been much of a consideration. Yeah, Courage looks good. Really, really good here, too. Because if they tap out here, I might just Courage one of these snakes. Hmm, we could also Avenger. Let's do the math real quick. If I... Uh, courage one of the snakes. This is three, six, uh, nine, twelve. This is fifteen, eighteen minus three because we have to crew. Looks pretty good. Miss, 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 how are you? This looks pretty good. I think we should. They're not quite dead, but they are going to be forced to block with these two. Hold on, we should not tap island. I think I'd rather keep this one back, actually. And we should still play this. It just forces them to make some like pretty heinous blocks in here. Sure. Sure. So they're taking nine. And then we can counter their next thing. All right, yeah, we, we have turned this game around. I like it. I like it. I thought our dreams of, of getting the trophy were dying, but I think we're back in this. Yes, we're in this. I know, winning with snakes feels good, man. Echoing, echoing courage with our snakes has been... The dream is alive. It's alive. I know, it feels good, man. Uh, did we change anything? I still like the spider silk nut. They still have a million flyers. They also have the mill dude, which makes me not want to really board into more black. So yeah, I think I like what we're doing. Yay, Mateo! Thanks for joining us. How are you doing, Mateo? How's life? I don't think Glistener Elf is very good, John. Especially not against what we saw from them. Phyrexian Swarm Lord can win on its own. Ah, it's Lubars, that's awesome. Playing random infect creatures just means that they can ignore it. Yeah, exactly. Like, this guy, because he can win a game on its own, it's cool to play the infect creature and do it. But if you're just doing it because you felt like playing an infect creature randomly in your main deck, it means that they, like, you're dividing your efforts. Yo, Chantel, how are you? I'm good. We are currently fighting for the trophy. We're going to game three. So this is, this one's for all of the marbles. Not some of them. Just literally all of them. I don't think our KMS would be sweet in this deck. Not really. I, I don't think we have that many spells that were like that, that sweet to rebuy. It's also really color intensive. Why have we never been able to properly draw both colors? It's an, unbelievable. I think we're supposed to mulligan this hand again. I think if we win this league, it will be the league that I most mulligan that somehow still went well. Okay, this looks better. We still need more stuff though. What's wrong with splashing infect? Ooh. Yeah, this is not bad information. I guess it's not necessarily what I want to draw on turn two, but it's better than nothing. I think I'm going to top. What's wrong with splashing infect in any deck? I think I'm going to slot in a few ink moth nexus in random decks now. It just really depends on how you want to play the game, but usually, unless you, unless you have a deck like Affinity where you can just move all your counters and put them onto the infect creature, you just don't particularly want to be like split between your creatures that do things and um do we have any green things that we could play on turn one no so let's just peek on their turn i think sure take a peek they have ardmart scob azure drake that thing a mountain of planes and pour over the pages Draw three cards on top of the two lands and discard a card. All right. What do we draw? Nothing good. That is not bad. Good. That is useful. All right. Let's see how they proceed. Uh, we'll take one. They currently can't counter our Gorilla Chieftain, too. That's nice. I came so good I killed you thrice. If you want to go for style point, sure, but I'm just saying why we didn't play the 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 elf in this deck. So that's planes. 
And they're probably going to play the scub. Okay. Oh my gosh. They milled all lands. That sucks for us. Ross Dripper gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, but they're just playing it as a four mana three three because they only have black. They're really either gonna kill your opponent with damage or infect if you're doing both types of damage. Yeah, it's like any of the amount of the other one that you didn't really capitalize on is just kind of wasted, so. Yep, that looks surely like an Azure Drake. They don't really have attacks. We need to draw something good. That doesn't count, actually. It's not very good. You just got an infect kill? Damn. Can't even attack here. Potato, I know, that's amazing. I'm never gonna get the infect kill. It's not happening. They played Mountain and Azure Drake. Now they have four over the pages, but that's a sorcery. Man, we would like a giant spider or something. That would not be too shabby. Yup. Draw three cards, untap up to two lands, and discard a card. That's bad. Now the only card we know about is the Dripper, or the Ripper. Can we get something sweet? Mm, we're floating out so much. The only plus side of them drawing a bunch of cards is we do have the card that evokes to draw cards. I know, we need a net. If we had a net, we'd be set. I'm glad we boarded it in. Gorilla's kind of just single-handedly holding off this entire attack. Yep. Yep. Man, this uh, Azure Drake being at 2-4 is actually... No! That's super bad for us! Shit! That's so rude. What the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I actually think we should sandbag a land for Avenger. Fudge. Huge problem. When an opponent casts a spell of Veiled Serpent as an enchantment, Veiled Serpent becomes a 4 4 serpent creature. I mean, we might as well counter this because it's not getting any better. Yo, I know. I Believe it or not, I do have creatures in this deck. I also have a Spider Soul net and a Plummet that we're not never going to see. God, and that Agony Warp is just so good, but it's so bad against those specific two creatures. Okay, that's actually fine. Come on! Yes! I'm so glad we sandbagged the land. That was great. Frickin' Poggers, man. We have the Echo in Truth, too. We're gonna have to just go, go to town. Because we're dead the following turn. Alright. Let's do the thing! Take that Gabby sip! <laughs> oh yeah, land bash would be just the dream. Though we'll be able to kill a blocker if we don't get that because we can go Gary Q into Agony Warp. One of these things. Oh my god, please. Because they're presumably going to have only two blockers. I guess we don't know what they're playing, but they're going to attack with a dragon and the Azure Drake and the Hoarding Dragon. Please! I'm so nervous! Okay, sure. We can't really do anything, so I might as well just have six. Oh my gosh, please don't do the thing! Don't do the thing! Don't burn me! Oh my gosh, what is that? At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if the player has two or fewer cards in their hand, it deals two damage to that player. Oh my gosh. And that's what they did? Well, yeah, I... Oh my gosh. Yo, man, I like, thank you so much for that raid, yo! I really appreciate that. Welcome on in, everybody. Hope you're having an awesome one. Look at those leaks. They have three cards in hand and we can't not go for it. So, I believe 
So it's 12. We're just dead, aren't we? I guess we gotta hope that they don't block the plants. We just gotta make it look like a pretty desperate flunge, huh? So like go agony warp on this thing twice. I wanna make it look like super not suspicious. Like, I don't want to shrink the power of anything else, because we're if this doesn't work, we're just totally dead anyway. I want it to look like just like a flunge. So we're getting in for, that's 12. This is 17. Oh my gosh, you're so close. They saw the line of blocking every creature. And then we just died to their other thing. We have no way to get through, right? Yeah, this is 3, 6, 8, 12, 17. Ah, uh, why? The plants have the same name. Yeah, that's why I'm counting 18. But we just needed to get in two more points of damage somehow. If we drawn a black source or if we drawn a land, these would have attacked for so much more. I know, drawing a land. I was dead. I was dead the following turn. I'm at one. <laughs> we can play this, block this, and then we die to this. You can shrink one flyer and block the other. Oh, yeah, I guess if we use the Agony Warp not on the thing. But then we die on our... Yeah, but at Aphoric, then we die on our upkeep to the dog. Yeah, we died of the Hound. We, we got rid of the Hound. The Hound's what got us to one life anyway. So we actually just needed to draw land there and we would have won. Well, we didn't know what they had. Maybe we should have cast it anyway just to see if they had anything. Yeah, the Fire Dog was killing us. The Fire Dog took us from... Yeah, that, so that's how we went down to three originally, Aphoric. It's if you have two or less cards, and that's the one that we killed, it deals you two damage. Oh, they might have blocked with the Hound. Yeah, I guess if they...